Welcome to EverQuest 2, Harnessing Macros, and the Alias Command Channeler Edition, with your host, Marta Blombo. So, let's start off with this crazy syntax for the Alias Command. This is a very important command, and it's very, it's very meaty, it's very flexible, it's very useful. And uh, not a lot of people know about it or use it. I actually heard about this command from another YouTuber. He was doing a uh, look like a, a panel. And I will actually link his video down below. So go ahead and take a look at his video. I'm trying to simplify it a little better here. Let's start with the alias part, which is a command used to assign another command to a key phrase. The key phrase is any word or combination of numbers and text without spaces that is not currently existing command. Now, this key phrase is defined by you. So you can make it be, you know, fluffy waffles or whatever you, you so desire. Now the command itself that's, that's attached there in the green is any pre-existing command with an EQ2. Now, for your ease of viewing, and I apologize to any people out there that might be colorblind, um, if there are any out there and you want me to redo this up, uh, maybe in a grayscale for you, let me know and I could probably do a quick grayscale and, and make it make a little more sense for you folks. All right, so the alias command or parts of the alias command itself those will be in red, any key phrases will be in blue, and any commands, which will come at the tail end there, will be in green. So, how do we use this thing? Let's start with an emotive. So in this case, I'm assigning uh, the key phrase greetings with uh, the emotive em jumps up and down waving like a ninny because we all like jumping up and down waving like a ninny right so when i type in forward slash greetings because that's my my key phrase it will state benevolence jumps up and down waving like a ninny benevolence being my end game character so how can we make this even better you can use this with a stored variable so uh, when i type in or even better yet, apply this to a macro, uh, do forward slash alias greetings to, in this case, that's my key phrase for this one, uh, colon em jumps up and down with percentage t, we all know that that is a, is whoever you're targeting, okay, so em jumps up and down with percentage t waving like a ninny, and now I could type in forward slash greetings to, now there, there's that eventuality you might not have targeted someone so you'll end up getting this if you didn't target anybody so in this case it's benevolence jumps up and down with no target waving like a ninny now had i targeted someone say our good old buddy curdy uh it'll state benevolence jumps up and down with curdy waving like a ninny now i can take that wherever i want let's say i I go, go off somewhere else in the game, Curdy camps out, he's gone for the night. Uh, I can go ahead and type in forward slash greetings to, or better yet, even put that in the macro. So I can hit my little greetings to button, and it'll say benevolence jumps up and down with Curdy waving like a ninny, even though I'm not targeting him. So what the command did is who I was targeting at the time I typed in the forward slash alias command that's the that's the name that it's stored so it's the name of whoever i had been targeting let's move right along here now how is this useful to the class or to a battle specifically in this case i'm, I'm addressing channelers however this is useful for any class you'll need only uh, replace some very key elements with your class specific items so Here's one of my uh, one of my actual alias commands, and I will I will reveal all those to you, and I will uh, paste all of those in the in the little text down below. All right. So in this case, forward slash alias rmt intercept colon usability on player 
percentage T, constructs, interception, channelers, you know what that is. That is our meat and taters right there. So now I can have the first, uh, the alias command on a hot button, and then on another, another hot button, another macro, I can have R forward slash RMT intercept. So it doesn't matter if I'm targeting that person or not, it will still cast it on them. So in this case, I'm using tank it as my, my main tank. That's where the RMT comes from, raid main tank, or you could say raid main target, your main target. So benevolence casts constructs and uh, uh, benevolence casts constructs interception on tank it. Now because I like to be able to switch back and forth between at least two different people at any given time on the fly, I will actually set up I have actually set up another button that covers my raid secondary target or raid secondary tank, however you want to say, however you want to state that. Um, so then I can do the same thing again and have a separate target. So now I have an RMT intercept and an RST intercept. So now I can cast the spell between the two people in this example, tank it and no tanky tanky. So if you have a wily mystic or defiler who likes to pre-ward, which they should, it's just dangerous and you want to make sure you're keeping them safe because you know they're going to save your ass later on the, down the line, uh, you want to be able to switch between them pretty quick. So I can switch immediately from tank it having the intercept to no tanky tanky and then back again using this method. So here is my button that I have for the main tank. There's a lot of alias commands in here, and we'll look at them close up here in a second. But I wanted to make sure that you knew that all of these commands, I just have them in one button. So in order to set that target, the main tank in this case, uh, to all of the all of my other hot buttons, um, I actually just have one button. So I'll go into my new group, I'll click on the main tank, and I will click this button. So now it saved their name to all of these uh, usability on player uh, commands, all right? So in this case, I have True Spirit Restoration, Siphon Protection, Channel Protection 3, that's her death block, very handy, uh, Bounty of the Virtuous, Cure, and Constructs Interception. And I set all those up in one click for my main tank. It's very, very useful. And you can see how I separated it out in different colors, so it's easy to read. So hopefully that will be useful to you. Now let's look at what the other macros look like. So I have my main tank macro, and let's look at our single target maintained spell, which is our, our interception, our, our constructs interception. Now, this button is set up differently than our single-use, single-target spells, and I will get to that after this, because they are set up very differently. The first command on that macro is forward slash CL, which will clear our casting queue. That way, when our next command, cancel spell cast, goes off, um, it won't immediately go to the next spell in the queue because cancel spell cast does kind of what it says. It cancels any spells or abilities currently being cast. That's immediately followed by the ability constructs at interception. I did actually click and drag that into the macro, so it's the third line. And what that does is it cancels out the ability constructs at interception if it's already been cast. Now, just in cases are are you know, we just got into this group, we haven't cast Constructs Interception on anybody yet, then it's immediately followed by Cancel Spell Cast, that way we don't end up casting on someone we didn't intend. And then, uh, that Cancel Spell Cast, of course, stops con Constructs Interception uh, from being cast if it had not yet been cast. That will immediately, immediately be followed by RMT intercept, that's forward slash RMT intercept, that's the custom command that we had set up with our with alias, so through that big old macro, okay, that 
casts Construct's Interception on our main tank. Let's move right along to our single target uh, spells. In this case, we're going to use True Spirit Restoration. That's our, our regen that uses uh, Dissonance. So we'll start that one off with forward slash CL, just like the previous one. And that will clear our casting queue. Then we'll follow that with cancel spell cast, just like the previous one. However, we're skipping a lot of that bugamaroo that was, you know, involved with the intercept spell because this isn't maintained, so we don't have to cancel it off of someone first. So it's just going to go straight up forward slash CL, next command, forward slash cancel spell cast, next command, forward slash RMT regen, because that's the one that we had set up through uh, alias, and that, of course, casts our true sphere restoration. Then, very important, we want to go ahead and drag our ability true spirit, true spirit restoration, and then set the little target text box, which you can see here, uh, to say for timer. So it'll only use, so that, this way it's only going to use the spell for the timer and whether or not the ability is available, because it'll actually blue it out if we don't, or if we have too much dissonance and we can't use it, and it'll also show any timers, and the timers are more for our cure or our single target heal that we get from Split Paw. Now what? You've got all your hot buttons set up, and you're you're ready to go, but you don't really know where to place them. So here's here's what I've done. You might have a different way, a different, uh, and it might be a better way. And I'd like to see that actually, because we all want to increase our heal parse after all. So here is how I have it set up for me. Uh, very top, I have my secondary tank bar. Uh, far right is the alias button, so it's that macro that has all those alias commands in it to set up all of the macros on the left hand side. So when I enter that group, I click on that secondary that secondary tank and, and then I click on that macro. All those buttons are then set up. And then after that I'll do the same thing with my primary tank bar. So on the far right hand side there's that alias button. I'll click on my primary tank and I'll go boop, I'll go ahead and click that, and now I've got all those buttons on the left hand side set up for that primary tank. Then I have my free heal bar, which I have to actually target, you know, change my targets in order to uh, cast any of those. They aren't preset like the above two bars. And then I have my quick access bar, which has all of my rotations on it. Now, that said, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below, and I hope this helped, uh, and if there's some pertinent enough questions in there, uh, I might even turn those into a video. Um, yeah, enjoy, and uh, may your heal parse ever increase.